You're going to talk about Chael and Ariel at all? Yeah, we were talking about it. So basically, my take on the Chael Ariel thing is that Chael was kind of cooking. And he was... Here's my take. I only said this when I had like 400 live viewers at the start of the stream. Now we got nearly 2,000. Chael was 10-9ing Ariel in the first round. And then Chael started throwing illegal knees, eye pokes, and... <laughs> And got disqualified. That's what I genuinely believe. He got two. Whoever gets more heated loses. That's basically what it is. And basically the way I see it as well is they both had a right comment that couldn't be refuted by each other. My honest opinion of it. Um, They couldn't have a correct comment. No, they had. They both had correct stances that couldn't be refuted by the other. So what they do in that case is, and this is entirely left-wing, right-wing politics, they can't disagree with each other on something and prove it to be wrong because it's literally a difference of perspective. So they just branch off into different arguments and then try and beat each other at that. Ariel won at the those, but there's very real foundations for uh, Chael's argument. If you know what I'm saying. Big congrats on getting Ariel on the live yesterday. No problem, dude. Good to see him getting tenated by Uncle Chael. He didn't get tenated though. Still undefeated and undisputed. Yeah. Thank you for the eight Australian dollars. Ariel actually won, but Chael was there for an argument, not to get a resolution. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ariel was 10 9 in him, but then he kept getting into like, dude, just you have to concede some points. You know what I mean? Uh, thank you for the five dollars. Did you take Ariel's bagel money and drink his matzo ball soup? By the way, if Ariel keeps on using his platform to settle scores, he won't have top tier guests. Yeah, true. Thank you for the $5, dude. And Ariel's channel dies the moment he can't get guests. Chaylor's just been waffling lately. Yes or no, chat? Probability. I make the video about Helwani and uh, uh, Chael's beef. Chael watches it, leaves a comment, and I reach out and we do a collab. I think now would be the time, probably highest likelihood chance of doing it, I reckon. Because uh, Uncle Chael seems very pro-guru in a lot of his stances. So I, re I reckon he'd welcome it. Impression of Guru 10-7 in area on the streets. Yeah, what now, pussy? Mm. Ah! My fingers. <laughs> Stop bending my thumb back. <laughs> it's not supposed to bend that way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm joking. No, I'd never do that. I'm joking. Thank you for the Ariel insinuated that Chael called him a weasel because he's Jewish at 259.40. No way. Fuck you. No, he didn't say that. You lied. Um, He's not even on the show. Oh, maybe he did, though. But maybe it was when the interview was over. 259.40. Wow, he actually did suggest that Chael was an anti-Semite. Wow. All right, I'll write that down on my notes. Ariel suggests that Chael is an anti-Semite. Wow. I didn't think he would go there with it. Maybe it did get heated. I need to watch the rest of the interview. Wait, did I save that? No. He actually did call it out. Anyone calling him a weasel is an anti-Semite, allegedly. Wow. Wow. Interesting. I'm next, boys. He's gonna get he's gonna get me soon, boys. That's so dumb to me. I hate when people do that shit, dude. I hate when people do that shit, man. It's like you literally can't insult anyone as a person unless they're white. It's so fucking lame these days. They literally have the card to pull every fucking time. So fucking lame. What the fuck did he actually say that? He suggested it. He didn't clearly say it, but he clearly suggested it. Um, no, he didn't do that, Alex Brooker. Thank you very much for the $2. You need to declare war on Ariel's channel. Send chat. 
No. Thank you for the $2. No, that's literally brigading and illegal on YouTube. So no, I won't do that ever. I'm dead serious, Guru230 on the on the nose video. Chael texted Ariel, your friends controlled the, the media. No, he didn't, dude. I don't think he meant it in a Jewish way, right? I, I do believe Ariel probably does have some friends in the media, you know? Uh, <laughs> the weasel. <laughs> Do it. He said do it like he would fucking be able to defend himself against Chael. I'd love to see <laughs> Chael on a... Can you imagine if they were in person and Chael actually got up and fucking choked him the fuck out? <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> so... Can you imagine if they actually were in person and Chael, <laughs> Chael actually <laughs> choked him unconscious? He'd sue, I know, but it'd be so fucking funny. <laughs> Imagine the fucking panic on Ariel's face. <laughs> and he actually gets forced into the choke and he's like... <laughs> actually tapping like he's going to do anything as well. <laughs> he's still... Just gets dropped like Jones dropped Machida afterwards as <laughs> face first on his fucking set. Oh god, that'd be so funny. <laughs> that'd be so fucking funny, dude. See everyone get fucking shot. <laughs> oh god. Sorry. Nothing makes me laugh like the suffering of another human. Good Lord. Uh, thank you very much for, <laughs> especially if they, des only if they deserve it. Sorry. Thank you for the $2 aerial Hawani versus. <laughs> All right, dude, chill out. Impression of Craig mishearing Ghibli and redeeming. All right, Paul. I'm trying to be this young man. No, no, to redeem, sir. You need to not redeem it. I'm going to do it now, man. Oh, my God. He actually did say that. He actually did say that. Wow. Chael said back um, to Ariel, uh, I don't have a choice since I work in the media and your friends control the media. All right. <laughs> All right. Chael was just off the deep end here. That was after the interview. Thank you for the two dollars. It's not all of them, but it's always them. Okay. <laughs> no, he didn't. No, he didn't, bro, Dylan. He did not say that ever. <laughs> he never said that once. Thank you very much for the five dollars, dude. Uh, he called Ariel a gold sniffing. <laughs> did not say that at any point at all. He never said that. Ariel has lost everything and is sitting outside your house in the rain with his head in his hands crying. <laughs> Do you help him like Lisa helped Mr. Burns? Hmm. You know what? Yes, I do. I help him. I, and I record the whole thing. I set up a security camera and show him crying on my porch. He doesn't know about these cameras though. I let him in. I say, dude, you know what? I'll fucking help you out, man. He'll be like, you will? <laughs> and I'll be like, yeah, use my guest room, dude. Just, you know, get yourself, you know, you get yourself out there. You'll get back on your feet. And I help him and stuff. And I make him and I have him do this. And, you know, in like Planet of the Apes, he kneels and does this in front of me. And I do this on his hand to let him know when he can like eat and shower and stuff. And I give him that little Planet of the Apes touch on his hand that Caesar does in Planet of the Apes. 
<laughs> and then only for the chance that when he rebuilds himself and gets back on top, I can endlessly trash him, endlessly trash him with the ultimate dirt. Like, imagine he gets back on top after that, and I endlessly go after him, and he goes into a beef with me, and I just like, oh, really, dude? The footage I fucking have of you crying in my fucking kitchen. <laughs> That'd be so good, dude. That'd be the ultimate turnaround, dude. Um, thinks he's Ramsey Bolton, yeah. <laughs> and keep my dogs hungry, you know? Thank you very much for... <laughs> yes. I turn Aerie into Reek. Yes, dude. That would be the ultimate move. What's your fucking name? <laughs> good. Good. That's your fucking name. <laughs> I have him make that noise around the house like a little Dobby. You know what my fucking problem is right now? I never want to fuck someone through MMA Guru. I was this close yesterday to replying to some girl on Instagram messaging me. And it was a female. I'm not fucking doing it ever. I do not want any DMs or anything out there like that, dude. These fucking hoes around every corner, dude. And I know it. It's so fucking tempting, dude. It's a bot. No, this one literally wasn't a bot, dude. There's so many bots that I know of, but fucking hell. It's so tempting, dude. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Damn, bro got catfished. No, I'm not getting... It's not the catfish thing. I know what the catfishes are. This one was a real one. Um, but no. Nah, I'm never doing some shit. I'm never going directly through the I'm a YouTuber thing to get a girl because I just know how these fucking hoes work these days, dude. Jesus Christ. That's asking for problems. And the way it feels is my face sinks between those big cheeks. And your butthole opens up for my tongue to delve deep in as my face gets covered in ash juice. I fucking love cleaning it. The way it tastes makes me feel so degraded having to clean you like a form of worship. 